Hello guys, it's Susanna here. Um, I'm going to be creating um, this beautiful um, scissors case which I made while I was on um, my break. Um, I'm just sort of pre-recording this. Um, I've got it on a sort of a bit of a funny angle because I have got it on a tripod which is just up here. Um, because I find with the stitching it can be quite um, hard to see so I wanted to sort of figure out a bit of an angle where I could do it and you can um, you know see what I'm actually doing so I'm wanting to do more stitching videos um, so this will probably be the first one of the stitching videos I've still got to continue doing my sewing journal one but um, I thought I would show you um, this scissors case that I made um, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial and I am going to have I've printed off some here we go I don't know if you can see it all there we go Susanna's case pattern so I've printed off some patterns um, which I'll have on my Etsy store but I also am, I've got a, enough to do six kits um, I'm actually on my sewing machine table which is a little bit further away from where I normally film um, so it's a really dark day today so I've got the lights on but I'm underneath my window it's yeah we'll see how we go anyway so it's probably going to be a few parts I'll put that over there it's just so beautiful I was really wrapped with how it turned out um because I needed a I needed a case for my scissors so um and I had that other little black case that I had but I wanted something a little bit better Okay, so what we're going to do first is you, you'll get this pattern, whether you get it with your actual, I've got enough to have a couple of patterns to make, um, or you can just get it, um, it's just going to be one PDF and um, it'll be on my Etsy store. So we, I cut out all my patterns, but I also, this first bit here, um, I've got beautiful doily and I put it on a doily and that's what you know it looks like I've done all the stitching so it's um, cheat stitching but I um, got the doily and I'm with the, um, the kits that I'm going to make it won't be this doily I think I might be able to get one more out of this lot here maybe on the top um, but I'll find another do um, doily and cut out um, bits and pieces you'll see them on the Etsy anyway okay so um, and each of them will have a piece of cloth this big I found this beautiful linen um, sort of peachy color and it just worked really well with the linen color of the doily um, and I'll have buttons in there as well I don't know if any of you've seen my Facebook page but I've got I bought this I'll show you on the bigger camera and you'll be able to see it. these all these beautiful little um, they're so cute I mean they probably look really big on here but if you see the size of my hand they're actually quite little they're quite small but they look big on here because the camera's a lot closer but that's the one I'll be using but it's got the most beautiful colors like oh. so I bought these this is my birthday my birthday gift um, and I really wanted to use them so I've gotten that that colour there. Where are we? Okay, I'm just putting this back. It's a massive big box and there's about 58 different colours. So uh, maybe you, I'll show you on another video, I think, where I've got it nice and close. But for now, I'm just grabbing that one out. Now, all this is done in couching. And I'll show you how I did it with couching. You need a needle that's got this on there. Um, so it's sort of one with a fairly big eye and then a, a smaller needle which I used um, DMC floss um, black just in um, two strands okay we'll see if we can get the two strands out again and thread these because the strands are fairly long does get a little bit knotted up which is a bit annoying sometimes so oh see doesn't really like to comply 
Oh, see, it's broken. Oh, are you serious? Oh, well, we'll use what we, what we can out of it. Okay. Grab my little scissors. Bend down there. So, um, just going to thread this needle. Tiny little thing it is. Sometimes I find, it, even though I've got reading glasses, I find it's easier if you don't use your reading glasses. Okay, I should have had this threaded up ahead of time. It's all good. Okay. Now, before we do anything, what we need to do is, so well, you've got your pattern and that scissors, you can cut out the scissors and then you put it down on there and you trace it on there or um, put it on a um, a light box and then trace around there with that and I've just traced around because I'm going to be doing it in black anyway I've just got one of these um, fine line you know waterproof and fade proof because you don't end up seeing that but I just had to do it in the black so um, this video that I'll be showing you today will be just me stitching the um, thing on. So what you do is you get this piece here, which is the front piece. So you cut out two of these and I've put them on. You can put them on. This is like a cereal box. That's a good, they're about similar widths to this because you need something with a bit of thickness to it. But this is just paper that I had. Um, left over um, so it's a bit a bit thicker so you you trace around that which you can't see but I've traced around it with this sort of lighter pencil and then you cut around you cut around it you know, I really hate having to cut this beautiful flower but that's how it's gonna go um, and the same goes for here because that's got to go around so I should be able to get another one and these they won't go to waste I'm going to cut around them and then put them in with some slow stitching and you know especially that butterfly it's beautiful so what I'm going to do with this is it's fairly close on the bottom but that's just as how I had to get I have to really make sure that I'm in camera. Okay. My big scissors. Now, I'm just wondering whether this one is enough to start with. Probably. So what I do is just get... So if this is just a wall and it happens to be this stone my short wall thing um, you just buy you know all those strands of wool that you can buy um, so I just happen to have a one that's a little bit different color and you'd be surprised at how little you need I might as well use the actual scissors that I'm making the case for they're my embroidery scissors now okay so what you do, once you've cut out all your patterns, um, I mean this happens to be, I need to cut out one more. So you cut out two of those, that's the back, and two of those which is the front. Because once we've done that, I'm going to get a, this sort of bit of waddingy stuff, which I'll glue on there, and then I'll um, sort of tuck that around and and we're doing it's all actually sewn together like I've actually hand stitched all the pieces together so okay but for now this is the bit we're going to be doing um where did I start on this baby I think I started um around about here okay 
Okay, now what you do, you get your other one as well. I so see this is a DMC thread, which I, I've got two threads, which is a floss, like in, as in a DMC or anchor or whatever. Um, one of these that you've got. So, now it seems a little weird, but you've got to use it using two things at once. So I've done that. Now I come in with my DMC thread. I'm holding that there. And we come up just right next to it. And couching, hopefully you can see, which is Now it's done a lot quicker when you're not having to work on the camera. I'll even see if I can... Oh, oh sorry! See, it's on such a weird angle. Um, even with a small thing, trying to get close is a little awkward. Okay. And you just follow the line. Oop, must be a knot. Oh no, just a thread. Um, follow the line of the what you've got of how, where you've drawn it. That's why it's pretty important that you see it. I usually am quite the upper when it comes to, um, you know, making videos and whatnot. But when it comes to sewing, I find it just a little bit hard. Now, it sort of goes up a little bit. So what you need to do is you come, you put. Yeah, it's a bit difficult because it's got a little bit of stitching underneath there, and then I come up. It's not hard, it's just and then take that around. I was going to initially just do a little satin stitch, but um, it was a bit. Okay, so basically it's, we're just tacking it down. And as you can see, um, when we get to here, it, it will just have one more, one more stitch. And I've got another little bit that goes in there. Can you see it? Okay. So um, I won't be showing you how to do all of it. I can stop and start on bits. Because it will take a long time. Okay. Now we just continue around. How have you all been going? We're, um, I mean, you probably already know, but we're in lockdown in Victoria at the moment, which is, um, yeah, not that great, but better than being everyone being sick. It's the elderly that are really feeling it. Hopefully, 
hopefully you guys can see I've got to look up every now and again and see whether um, you can actually still see I've got the heater in the background it was actually snowing this morning a bit of a cold day here in Ballarat I figured if it's going to be cold you might as well get snow and you really light though not like the snow they get in Europe okay now so just follow along there along there like that there and that will get to there and then I think I went I just went all the way down and then back up again so um yeah so just sort of follow along okay so what I might do give it a bit of a pause and do a bit more stitching and then I'll show you um once she gets to here because it'll go like there like that and that's where it doubles up so um you know we're going to have to get another bit to go all the way around there see it goes like that so make sure you stick to the outside and then we're going to have to get another little bit so I'll be back okay back again so I'm all the way down to um, you know come up here going all the way around see it's on the outside and then we're here and there's a little bit of a gap in between so what we're going to be doing is going back that's why I start up there go back through into the middle and we catch that down into the middle which is slowly filling up those empty spaces now when you get to here you've got to veer a little bit more off to this way which does seem like it's leaving some space which it is that's okay okay so hold it down I mean this is still attached onto the needle this end Oop. now just go in there a little bit moving along see this okay where are we So much harder to do it on camera than it is just in front of me so there's a little bit of a hole there but that's okay so then we're going to be going all the way around 
and then end up just there so what I might do is just quickly stitch this down as quick as I can go I'll just pause it for a second until I get to there and then I'll show you what to do okay we're here where we need to be so what you do is you get this is why you need a needle in here is you get the needle and you go through pull that down and then stitch this part down make sure that that other bit's out of the way oh, it's always the way I'm trying to do that last little bit trouble when you've got two threads yeah we do tend to do that and I'm not changing it because we've only got the tiniest little bit now so that's being held down there like that so I'm up here so what I would do is I would get that needle and come up here and just fill in that gap like that and the piece the piece that you will get I'm just using what was left because I had a really long piece from the first one that I made would be a lot a, a bit longer so what you would do um, is now as you come up you can tie that off or you can just go straight across here and you come up out here when you if you've got a another piece Ugh, bits everywhere. Gotta finish this bit off first before we do anything. Okay, here's your bit of DMC thread, and you go back and stitch that down. Make sure it's all being held down. Oh, jolly thread. You know what I mean, anyway. So, and it, that's will be coming out here. Close as you can. Oop. I'm gonna have to replace it anyway. I think. I think man, now would be the time. But you would, you guys would have a longer thread, so you would stitch that down. Then you go back up again. enough for two at that part so there's probably enough for there and then there's probably enough to go back down again and that fills in that part and then you would finish it off there so what I'm going to do that's enough for this video we'll stop that there um, so yeah so you come up that's where you've finished stitch stitch that down it'll go back round that will fill in that bit and then that other bit will come up and you've done the actual stem part and then you'll get a new bit for there but the bit that you get will be long enough that I had one piece for that so um, yeah Okay, well, I'll just leave it at that. It's already 24 minutes, um, and this part um, I will, um, yeah, you just continue to couch along that anyway, and I'll probably come back when it's there um, and do another part of the video. Okay, guys, um, I hope you like it and make a start on this. Since this, so this is part one of Susanna's sewing um, scissors case. Okay, thanks for watching.